in this edition of Before They Were Copart, <laughs> you know, somebody got their whole shit smashed out here. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Damn. Shout out to the airbags. Whew, I hope everybody made it. You can see that truck driver's lost his views. This is my spot for the evening. <laughs> this is that's your spot? It's broke. It's just old. It's French stuff, you know? Hey. 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 Ice. Oh. Stretch. White. Wrist. Oh. Bad. Bitch. She. All right, guys. There it is. You see it. 5310 on the clock. This is going to start the epic road trip in beast aka the uh, brand new chevy tahoe we are going to run this from here worth a little stop off in oklahoma city to see my uh my brother over there auto auction rebuilds randy and uh you know congratulate him on his 200,000 subscribers and then we're uh gonna keep it moving so we're gonna break it up probably in a few days uh but we're gonna go ahead and get started now and maybe I can show you some cool stuff along the way, and we'll see if the truck gets their trouble free. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I can't believe this right now. This truck is, is running at like between 40 and 50 miles per gallon in this four-cylinder eco mode. It You know, it, it, it's, it's alternate, but the fact that it could get like an average of 30 on the highway is insane. What is up, guys? So, we've been running now for... I don't know, a minute. We're at 5,555 miles on the clock. And uh, it's cold as balls out. 22 degrees. And uh, we'll be stopping here at Flagstaff here shortly uh, as the first stop of the evening. So far, the truck's been handling pretty well. Damn, my ears keep popping. So far, the truck's been handling pretty well. I noticed the voltage meter on the highway, since we've been on this little bit of a longer trip, has stayed above 14. It hasn't dipped like it does when I'm in, in the city or doing city driving. So, so far, the truck has been running... I guess exceptionally well. I'm cruising here about 80 miles an hour. We're uh, sitting at 19.6 is my average. Best is 21 point something miles per gallon. That's not bad. Anyways, we should be stopping up here at Flagstop to top off fuel because you can see I'm almost empty and continue our trip on. So you can see, we got both of the beasts, but the big beast right here, ready to go. We got snow and ice on the ground. And we're gonna check its uh, weather condition ability today. So we're uh, about 400 and something miles into the road trip. And we're gonna see how she handles. I will say this, I have noticed more of the Whoa, 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 at highway speeds from these specific tires. So these are Wrangler Duratracks. If you guys have any experience with these, my truck people here, let me know like how important, they say, you, I guess you gotta rotate these like every 3,000 miles. Let me know if that's just like fake news or if that's legit. I still got this little bit of bird shit here. But look, she still looks clean outside of that one thing of bird shit, I know, look. Doesn't she, I mean, the thing looks like a beast, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to like say it, but it just looks, it just looks so damn good. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying like, damn. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> it is uh, 18 degrees out here. So let's uh, open the truck and see if it starts with no problem, shall we? Put down my hotel receipt. fire right up nice and cool or what we 
call it cold start. One of the first things I think I am going to do to this thing is put an exhaust on it. I really... Whoa! About to bust my ass live on video. Go! Um, yeah. And, you know, I really wasn't a fan of these rubber mats. But, like, a day like today where there's lots of snow and lots of crap on it. Um, I like this. <laughs> I think... I think I am going to become a fast fan of these rubber mats. Anyways, just getting the road trip started, so let's get back on the road. <clears throat> All right, so we're back on the road, and here we go. Man, there's a whole lot of nothing out here. Looks like they got some snow on the ground, and according to the weather reports, they could get up to a foot and a half to two feet this evening so we are moving at about a good 80 <laughs> and uh <coughs> trying to eat up as much time as possible so we can get through this and uh not get caught i know the truck be, should be able to drive through it and be able to handle it with no problem but it's like why do i want to why do i want to keep why do i want to play with it you know what i'm saying we just got to keep it moving been really 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 good um, you know compared to making the trip out uh, in another SUV I'm really I've really been surprised it's not like I haven't had a Tahoe before I've had them but mine were early 2000 Tahoes and Suburbans I haven't had you know the last generation uh, body style of the Tahoe or this generation so I've been uh I've been pleasantly surprised with the, the handling, you know, the, the the dampening of the bumps and stuff on the road. Um, I know the camera's probably shaking like crap because you're stuck to the window, but I digress. Inside the truck, the way the seats and everything else, it all it all just works together. Uh, I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I don't know, is it Guatemalan or is it Peruvian? I, I, I don't know. Da, 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 da. Gotta think about that. If there's 111 people that have used that shower. I know they clean them at the pilot, and I highly recommend it if you're a professional driver to use a pilot. But yeah, you gotta think about the other 111 dudes that was in there doing whatever they was doing before you got in there. <laughs> oh boy. I need to get that trial include sticker off of the damn truck. Probably looks stupid. Ooh. And here we go, we back at it. We're currently at 5,638 miles. <coughs> Excuse me. We are at day one on the trip. Man, I do see that dust and stuff shows up real easy on this black interior, man. All right, we are ready to go. Let's get back into it.
All right, guys, so we're back on the road. Next stop, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And she runs. You can see we're getting about 17 miles a gallon as we're moving here through a very short stretch of Mexico. <laughs> <coughs> She's running, man. Running like a champ. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of enjoying the truck, man. She runs like a dream. Ooh. Fat. Choo. Racing the trains out here. Racing the trains. Man. It is beautiful out here. This is a whole lot of nothing. We are 15 minutes from the New Mexico border. Or the New Mexico state line we are moving moving on up you can see over here we're about to pass whatever that was i mean it is i like the countryside out here like I, I'm, I'm a fan of like the rocks and you know the i was gonna say the agriculture <laughs> you know the the terrain like i like it i you know i grew up in a city I've always been used to being cramped in and having millions of people in my city, right? You're used to being just just busy, right? But you can come out here. Like, if you just have money and you just wanted to, like, just work on cars or just do your own thing or maybe just have a spot, just, just have a spot out here. And this is Arizona. Just to get away, right? Just to get away from, like, civilization and just people. You just come out here and, like, tune on your car, do whatever, enjoy, like, the snow and the weather and stuff out here. I don't know, man. Well, uh, we call this a peep break. We're stopping here at the Indian Center. And then we'll get back on the road. Da, 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 da. probably stopped at that Indian Center like uh, at least 10 times in my lifetime like I don't know what it is it's like you see that sign when you're on 40 heading east or west and all of a sudden it's just like you gotta pee it's like I, I don't know how to explain it man I don't know how to explain it I don't see any cows out here so I don't know why they have the uh, cattle crossing things here but we're gone. We're back at it. Let's get it. Oh. Welcome to New Mexico. We are making good time, man. Running pretty solid. Currently at 57.44 on the truck. Running at about 20 miles per gallon. On average, 20.2. Best has been 23.9 in this truck. On this road trip so far. You know, and I guess fully calculated average. 
There we go. Oh man. Woo wee wee. <laughs> Rest area, two miles, New Mexico. Ding ding ding. All right, guys. Uh, I wanted to make it up here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut it down here, uh, probably at Gallup. You see it there. So I got about 20 more miles. So we're probably gonna shut it down at Gallup for the day so we can just get some good sleep, power through tomorrow to get um, to get on into Oklahoma. And then, um, you know, we have another, another uh, full day of driving after that to get out to the East Coast. So, um, yeah. Anyways, there you have it. If you've enjoyed this driving video so far, um, we are getting back to our regularly scheduled co-part and rebuild stuff soon. I appreciate you guys supporting like the CES videos. I know they haven't done as well as the other videos. I thought people might have been more interested in seeing some of the exotics and concept cars and things of that nature. If you're interested in seeing stuff at the Chicago Auto Show, let me know. If you guys aren't, if there's not a lot of interest in it, I'm not going to make the trip to Chicago to go film a bunch of stuff at the auto show if you guys don't give a rat's ass about it. But, um, anywho's, there you have it. We're moving. We're in New Mexico. I got about 20, 20, oh, I got a piss too, man. Look at this shit. No! You know what that means. Do, 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 wah! Rest area closed, huh? All right. I guess I got a piss on the side of the road. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thank you all very much for watching day one's video. Basically, you know, about 20 hours of condensed driving into, what, 15 minutes or so. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So far, the truck has been running good. Very interesting that you see that voltage meter up past 14 the entire time. Really weird that it's down low. Driving. Somebody said it had to do with the uh, variable valve timing or the Ecotec engine in this. I, I don't know. but uh, And I don't even know if the Ecotec engine is making a difference, to be honest. At 20 miles per gallon on the highway, that's about average what I would get in the Envoy with the 5.3 V8. And that's a Vortec. So, I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.